philosophy, as you know, is the love of wisdom. And maybe there are forms of um, political wisdom um, that we also uh, need to, to love. <laughs> that is to say, we need to um, care about uh, our social world, the way our politics is organized, um, whether equality is achieved in our world, whether people are free, free to move without fear of violence. Um, many of the um, issues that are most important to our uh, political lives right now um, uh, bring up questions like who is equal and what is equality? Who is free? What is freedom? And these are, um, these are very basic questions, questions that we ask because we care about the world in which we live and we want it to be organized in a way that is just. In some ways, these are the traditional questions you find in Plato's Republic, but you, of course, answer them differently today because our circumstances are different. Because I think in the United States it would be good if we become more collective. <laughs> um, and I worry just a little bit that um, individualism and our individual rights to advance in society, which is part of our capitalism, that, that that's, if that becomes the focus, then we lose the collective power of a movement. So, you know, I would, I'm waiting for Me Too to become a collective movement, and, and I'm thinking we have a lot to learn um, from Latin America here. But Ni Una Menos strikes me as a different movement. Of course it cares about every individual, don't get me wrong, but Ni Una Menos, I mean, who is speaking when we say Ni Una Menos? It's a collective that's speaking. Not one more will be lost. We will not permit another woman to disappear, to be destroyed, to be killed. Another trans woman to be disappeared or to be killed. We object as a collective. So it's a very strong collective movement, which is one reason um, uh, Me Too takes place in the newspapers. Here's a story, here's a story, here's a story, individuals. But Ni Una Menos, it takes place in the media, yes, uh, but it also takes place in the street, in the assemblea, in the in the massive or um, uh, outpouring of women in in Buenos Aires or in uh, Ecuador or well, just that I'm very pleased to come to Guadalajara. It's my first time, and I'm very honored, um, very very honored uh, to give the. Um, uh, to give the lecture at the book festival and also to receive the honoris causa. I feel that I have a chance to become part of your community. So thank you very much.